Hi everyone and welcome. Before we begin, I would like to give a shout out to my latest channel member, Rusty Schaefer. Thank you for joining and supporting my cause. Okay, today I will attempt to show the greatest wound that narcissists cause. And it doesn't matter if you've had to deal with this narcissist for months or years. The wound is the same for all of us. So I will attempt to walk through a lot of the things narcissists put us through. But by the end, you will realize that with everything they did, from deceiving us through to manipulating and hurting us, it can all be summed up into one word. Once you know and understand what this word is, it can help you with your healing journey. So let's start from the beginning with that false persona or false image that they portray because that is where it began for many of us. Even for those of us who were born into narcissistic families, to narcissistic parents whose actions and words tend to contradict each other. They deceived us about how things should be and what a healthy relationship looks like. Narcissists are all about deception, no matter who the narcissist is. They rope us in, then stab us in the back. They claim to love and appreciate our talents and individuality. They pretend to be our friends, family and loving partners while all the while envying us and wanting to rid us of our joy. They convince us to trust them and believe them. We give them our love, we give them our heart and they smash them to pieces. They create problems, then blame you for it. They make stupid decisions, then try to justify it. They lie and cheat, but somehow it's your fault as they are always quick to play the victim, the wounded saint who somehow is never at fault, but always manages to be the one on the receiving end of abuse. They try to break down our boundaries and discredit our feelings and emotions. They care little for our concerns, but want us to break our backs to make sure that their wants and needs are being met. They are the liars, imposters, manipulators, cheaters, but everyone else is still the problem as it cannot be them. They ruin our relationships with others. They smile in our face and then slander us behind our backs. They try to isolate us and make us feel that we are the worthless ones who make their lives miserable. They gaslight us to make us question ourselves, our sanity and our abilities. They gaslight us into thinking that we are the problem the crazy ones. Narcissists are not good people. They are very troubled individuals with dark hearts and mal intentions. All this stuff they do to people without any remorse can all be summed up in one word and that word is betrayal. Narcissists betray us when they lie to us, manipulate us, cheat on us, slander us, discard us, abuse us. It's all betrayal. A very simplistic definition of betrayal would be the violation of trust. It is one of the most painful, even traumatic experiences that anyone can go through. Because in order for someone to betray you, you would have had to trust them at some point. And we cannot forget that narcissists work hard to gain our trust. From the very inception with their manufactured false image of deception and love bombing, 
They deceive us into thinking they are something they are not. Someone worth loving, someone who is kind, someone worth trusting. We trusted them to care for us, protect us, defend us, to be kind to us, to help us, to support us, to build us up, to be considerate of us, to be honest with us. But they end up betraying us by not being any of these things when we needed them the most. Narcissists betrayed us and they were able to betray us because we trusted them. And this is why it hurts us deeper than some of us realize because our psychological and emotional health was shattered by their actions, making it difficult for us to easily trust again, which is something I went into in this video, where I pointed out the trust issues that we develop as a result of dealing with narcissists and how difficult it is to trust people going forward. But this is the root cause, and it's the simple fact that they, the narcissists, betrayed us. They deceived us into trusting them and did such a hell of a good job at it that we struggle to identify when someone is being real or fake. So we put a block up and become suspicious of everyone, trusting no one. Because after being betrayed, there are a lot of emotions to work through, such as anger, fear, sadness, even hopelessness and therefore we struggle with forgiveness even forgiving ourselves for allowing the betrayal to happen we ask ourselves the why did this happen how could i let this happen we end up blaming ourselves for trusting someone who appeared to be trustworthy but we are not the ones in the wrong they are the ones who have done wrong. By deceiving and hurting people, the narcissist is the one who has committed the crime. We cannot blame ourselves for the foul actions of the narcissist. We need to forgive ourselves. Narcissists betray people. They work hard to gain your trust, then cause deep psychological and emotional damage by willfully destroying that trust. And it doesn't matter who you are, the narcissist will betray you because they are loyal to no one. But to wrap it up, the issue we are dealing with at the end of all this is betrayal. Under all the lies, manipulation, infidelity, secrets, drama, abuse, the main problem is betrayal, which is the issue of broken trust. That is what we are left with at the end of it all, and we have to deal with it like the painful experience that it is. We need to grieve our losses and more than anything, learn from the experience in order to not make the same mistakes again. Narcissistic abuse can be complex to explain. But understanding the root of this abuse, which is betrayal, can help us to heal. Healing takes time, but it is possible, even if it means getting professional help and speaking to a therapist. Because even if they are not trained in narcissistic abuse specifically, they should know about the trauma that betrayal can cause. It's really important to understand or put words to what you are experiencing. And I hope I have been able to do that by showing that everything the narcissist did can be summed up in the fact that they betrayed us, selling us a false image of themselves, making promises they had no intention of keeping, the future faking and endless lies. They basically gave us or inflicted on us things we never signed up for. But may we all heal from our wounds of betrayal. As usual, I hope you all found this useful. 
please do share your thoughts below. Many thanks for watching.